All right, so we're doing rollover images in Dreamweaver, uh, creating the images first in Photoshop. This tutorial is going to go by pretty quick, so you can pause and rewind. That's the advantage of these videos. I've selected a foreground color, and I've gone ahead and filled, and now I'll go ahead and uh, create some text. Right? Default colors, switch them, text, and I'll just click once, and I'll type in home. I'll go ahead and highlight the text, or control T, edit free transform and just kind of move it around until it's where I want it to be and press enter. So this is my first image. I'll save for the web. I'll select, make sure this is a GIF. Hit save. I'll save it up to my desktop here. I'll just call it home dash normal and then I'm going to change it around a little bit. Right? So I'll say, I'll go ahead and go to the background here, change it to, uh, change it to red red color and I'll go up to edit fill and I'll fill it with a red color and I'll go up to file save for the web save it again and I'm gonna call this home dash over and click save minimize this go up to Dreamweaver here and in Dreamweaver I'll go up to insert interactive images rollover image browse for the original image which is home normal browse for the rollover image which is home over and then I can link link the file to whatever I want I'll hit OK now let me go ahead and save this and I'll go ahead and preview it in a browser and you'll see what it looks like it comes up in just a sec. Alright, let me just allow that blocked content. But when you move your mouse pointer over it, it switches. Okay, and that's creating interactive images, rollover images in Photoshop and Dreamweaver.